restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. Silence in its primary stage is avoiding the mistakes of the tongue. As the book says, in the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. Many a time I have spoken and regretted it, says Saint Arsenius. But as for my silence, never did I regret. Silence, from another point, is leaving aside human effort, giving God a chance to work. As the Bible says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Silence is sometimes a kind of composure and not to revenge of oneself or repay evil for evil. The Lord Jesus Christ was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. And during his trial, he was silent both when he faced the Sanhedrin and Anianus, Caiaphas and Pilate. There was power in silence to the extent that Pilate the governor said, I have no fault in this just man. Silence also gives a chance for prayer and contemplation. The one who talks much never gets a chance to pray and does not have the capacity for interior spiritual work. One of the saints was right in saying, the one who talks much proves that he is empty inside, which means a void of, void of interior spiritual work. When St. Arsenius was asked about his silence and isolation, he replied, I cannot be with God and with people at the same time. Also, what a beautiful saying is that of St. John Saba. He says, silence your tongue to let your heart speak and silence your heart to let God speak. Silence covers many types, such as silence of the tongue and silence of the senses, because if the senses were occupied without the control of man, they would bring thoughts that would hinder him from prayer and contemplation. The one who wants to be silent in a spiritual manner has to guard his sight, hearing, and the rest of his senses. Silence teaches one to be serious and quiet. It keeps him far from kalama, uproar, and noise. It also avoids him mixing with many ideas that could distract the thought, making it hard to be recollected at the time of prayer. Silence also goes with a being alone, without too much mixing with others. So live the life of silence and reap the rewards. Let's look at the following story together. It was a practically tough football game and uh, nerves were on edge. The home team had been the victim of three or four close calls, and they were now trailing the visitors by a touchdown and a field goal. When the official called yet another close one in the visitors' favor, the home quarterback blew his top. How many times can you do this to us in a single game? He screamed. You are wrong in the out-of-bounds call. You are wrong on that last holding call. And you failed to say anything about a late hit in the first quarter. The official just stared. The quarterback seethed, but he tried to suppress language that might get him tossed out of the game. What it comes down to, he bellowed, is that you stink. The official stared a few more seconds, then he bent down, picked up the ball, paced off 15 yards, and put the ball down. He turned to face the steaming quarterback, and how do I smell from here, he asked. There are so many times when it is hard to bite the tongue and say nothing. The urge to say something seems so overpowering the words sometimes erupt before we have a chance to think them through. Unfortunately, those words have consequences. 
The minor offences result in 15-yard penalties. The more serious offences result in years of regret and heartache. Or perhaps the broken relationships that take years to rebuild. No wonder James had such strong words of praise concerning the person who was always able to control what he says. For he says, for we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to brittle the whole body. May your words today be few, calm and carefully thought out. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, you said for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Help me, Lord, to control my tongue and know when to speak. Amen.